Hello, Times Crossword, let's go. Unsympathetic prayer came up loveless. No. Nope. Dish is buried in cave lid off. No. On the road, could it be eclipsing other books published? I wonder if this is in transit. In transit means on the road. Could it be... Could it be, is, is it, eclipsing or around other books, NT for New Testament, published, ran, few. That was a bit tricky. A king welcomed by girls, affected greeting. No. Country where old hands back in favour. Indian city where navigator docked. Stretching of legs authorised by precedent. Gosh, tricky one today. Hit with tenth foul in poor kids game. Could be the in the middle. Sailors in similar European race. Man honoured in wake. Spirit finally released. Short tweet about a speaker. Island using computers. Wow. Associated affairs may be ending in disaster, one in mess. Desperate to go. Having heard brief. Gosh. Quick means of communication in time abroad. Get a move on in pair of boots. Thinking that might be chop chop, but I don't think that's hyphenated and doesn't fit with the boots. Could be high step also. Fix rail in high street establishment. No. Joke that's on jerk few. I've got one leg pull. So, a leg pull is a joke. On is a cricketing reference to which means leg, the on side, the leg side, and to pull is to jerk. Before sun at zenith, bringer of light, travelling east, in principle. Wow, no. See red shirt with a female... Wearing it. No. Woodcut. Backward edge. Supporting. Framework. I'm thinking this is trellis. So wood is tree. Cut without its final letter. Edge is sill. So backward edge. Reverse it. And a trellis is a supporting framework. Secretary, individual, missing on, ID. Yeah, this is papers. So a secretary, a secretary is a PA, personal assistant. Individual is person, missing on, without O-N, leaves purse. And then papers are ID. Before I wonder if principle is dogma. Before sun at zenith, bringer of light. I'm really struggling with that. I'm going to wait until I get the first letter before having another bash. Friend, a nuisance ultimately. 
abandoning capital. So friend could be Amy or pal. But not getting it. Country with French banks suffering. No, so I think that's all the downs. Hopefully better luck with the acrosses. Container for all that old brass. Defence always leaky. It brightens infirmity. First of all. First of all could be A. Not particularly useful in third place. Find out. Yes, ascertain. So to ascertain is to find out, and corrupt is an anagram indicator for sectarian. Hit with tenth foul in poor. I think poor could be an anagram indicator. We're looking for, four, for 14 letters. Tenth foul is 9. I-N is 11, and hit is 14. So it's everything before poor apart from with. So it's an anagram of hit, tenth, foul, in. And it means a kid's game. No, not getting that. Comic, beyond valuation. Yes, this is priceless. So this is comic, the adjective. And priceless can, can indicate something which is very funny. And it can also indicate something which is beyond price. So double definition there. I'm going to look at the remaining acrosses before coming back to the crossing letters. Bird for bird watching, say. Wow, no. See red shirt with a female wearing it c could be a reference to the territory controlled by a bishop but that's unlikely with a single letter in the middle it could just be the verb to see something no glandular decay in mercenary No, so that's pretty much everything looked at, and I am struggling, but let's have a look at some of these crossing letters from Ascertain and Price Priceless. Get a move on. In pair of boots. Well, chop chop fits, but I still don't think that's right. Fix rail in high street establishment. No. Country with French banks suffering. No. OK, let's go to ascertain. Sailors in similar European race. No. Desperate to go, having heard brief. No. Nope. Short tweet about a speaker. Yes, this is chair. So a tweet is a chirp, and short means without its final letter. About a gives you chair, which is a speaker, as in a chairperson. Island using computers, computers could be IT, invested in personal one. And it's an island, so it could be something, something ITA, or something IT, etc. But not getting it. Associated affairs, maybe, ending in disaster. One in mess, new. Defence, always leaky, 
Aha, uh -huh. yes, this is alibi. An alibi is a defence. And first of all, it's a reference to the initial letters of the words before it. So starting with always, you've got A for always, L for leaky, and then I, B and I. Container for all that old brass. Old brass could indicate a reference to money. Not getting it. Island. So this does look like it's got IT right here. Using computers invested or in the middle of personal one. And it means island. Well, Britain fits. Aha, uh -huh. I think it is Britain. And I'll say why. So Britain is an island. Computers are IT, and a personal computer is a brain. So, B, that's a useful crossing letter. Container for all that old brass. Wow, this is obscure, I think, but I think it's right. So, a container is a sack. For all that is but. And then old brass, well, a sack butt, I think, is an old brass instrument. So nothing to do with money, but musical instruments. So making a bit of progress in the top right. Can it continue? Man honoured in wake. Spirit finally released. So I think we're looking for a man honoured that being the definition, and then spirit finally is the letter T. So T is released from a four-letter word meaning wake. Yeah, to wake is to stir, and without a T gives you sir, which is a man who's been honoured. Associated affairs, maybe. Triangle. I think this is triangle. Let's see if the word play corroborates that. So where's the definition? I guess a triangle, a love triangle, is associated affairs. Ending in disaster is R. One is I in mess in tangle. So that is correct. Fantastic. The top right is done. What about 14 across? Always good to get the long ones in. Stretching of legs. Yes, fantastic. This is constitutional. And I think this is pretty much a double definition. So a constitutional is a walk or a stretching of legs. And if something is constitutional, it's authorised by precedent. So how best to... Utilize all these extra all these extra crossing letters. Oh, in last place, got to be helpful. Dish, yes, risotto, fantastic. Is 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 buried or included in cave in grotto, lid off. Well, the lid of grotto is its initial G, so is is in rotto gives you risotto, which is a dish. Indian city where navigator docked. So we're looking for a five letter Indian city and we're looking for a six letter navigator without its final letter as indicated by docked. And I'm not getting it. Patna fits, but I don't know of a six letter navigator beginning Patna. Country, East Timor fits the letter pattern where old hands, O and then mitts, back in favour, back in ear. To have, to have someone's ear is to have their favour. M, that's a useful letter. Sailors, and this, this E from the may be wrong. In similar, European race. So the definition is either sailors or race. It could end ESE for race. 
But what are sailors? Mariners? Well, but that wouldn't be inside because mariners takes you all the way to the end and in any event the E in last place is correct. So that's not right. A king could be A-R. Welcomed by girls. Affected greeting. Yeah, yeah, it, well, I'm sure this ends... Yes, I'm not being very articulate, but this is air kiss. So a king, a is a, king is k, welcomed by girls. The girl is iris, so girls is iris is. And then an air kiss is an affected greeting. Fantastic. So does this s help with four down? Sailors. In similar, same, European, race. Wow, what is this? I'm getting rid of this E in case it's wrong and stopping me seeing the correct answer. Sailors. In similar... Same doesn't really mean similar. European could be this last E. And then race. Certainly a vowel in second place. So A, E, I, O, U. Well, race is just not registering anything. And nor is sailors. Unsympathetic. Prayer. Came up loveless. Prayer could be Ave, I think. Yeah, this is a verse. So, a verse means unsympathetic. Prayer is Ave. I think that's just a way of referring to Ave Maria, which is a prayer. And came up is rose, loveless, without its O. So, it's not Patna. Indian city. Where navigator docked. Ah, yes. So, it is Satna, which I think must be an Indian city because I think the navigator is the Satnav. And docked means without its final letter. So that is the top left done, apart from this wretched four down. 13 down, 18 minutes on the clock. This is tough. Can I finish before 30 minutes? Desperate to go. Having heard brief. Brief could be short. Desperate to go. Caught short, yes, as in desperate to go to the toilet, you're caught short. Having heard, or caught, brief short. So, an H and 17 across. Kids game. No. Quick means of communication. In time abroad. In could be in. Quick means of communication. No. Does the O help? C. Red shirt. With a female wearing it. C. Nope. Wow, now I've now looked at everything, I think. Let me come back to 17 across. So if it is hit 10th foul in, then there are two H's. So I think it does contain the, I'm putting the back in. So the two H's have been accounted for.
I'm just trying to mentally consider the remaining letters. So it's it, or it's I, because hit is TH. We've got I left. Well, we've got all of hit, 10th, N and T. So hit, N and T. F O U and in. No, I'm just not being able to mentally juggle all those letters in my mind. So let me have another look at some of these clues. Get a move on. Well, it's not chop chop because there aren't three H's. But P is a useful letter. So get a move on means hurry up. So step in pair of boots. To boot could be to, it could be a verb, to kick, or it could be a shoe. Not getting it. Before sun at zenith. Ah, sun at its zenith is sun at its height, which is at noon. So this could be just a fancy way of, before, of saying before noon, which is a.m. Travelling east indicates going backwards. So bringer of light, dogma, sorry, God, let there be light. So a.m. God backwards gives you dogma, which is principle. Wow, that's a hard one, crossing D. Quick. Means of communication in time abroad. And this is probably an A. So the definition is likely to be quick or quick means of communication. No. C, red shirt. What could red shirt be? Ah, I think the definition could be C, red, as in get angry. Shirt could be T, with a female wearing it. It could be just it, or it could be SA for sex appeal, but I'm not seeing where that would fit. But C red definitely feels like the definition. But I'm not seeing 25 down as beginning with T. Friend, a nuisance ultimately, abandoning capital. So it could be E, leaving Rome to give Rom. 26 across, glandular decay in mercenary. No. Bird for bird watching, say. Oh, yes, fantastic. Hobby. So a hobby is a bird, and bird watching is a hobby. Fantastic. Look at all these beautiful crossing letters. 24 minutes down. So is this going to crack the puzzle open? Country, Egypt. With French banks suffering. Yes, French for with is ET, with and and being synonyms. And then suffering is jip. If you have jip in your leg, you're suffering. And Egypt is a country. Fix, rail in, yes, nail bar, few. So fix is nail, rail, fix is nail, rail is bar. And the nail bar is a high street establishment. 
Wow, chop, chop. Still fits this letter pattern, which is annoying. 26 across could begin with P. Glandular decay. Decay is rot. In mercenary. What is mercenary? And a seven letter word meaning glandular. Scrotal? If it was P, parotic? Parotid? Yes, parotid. Phew. Parotid must mean glandular. Decay is rot in mercenary in paid. So this... Oh, hunt the thimble, surely. Yes, that's a children's game. I'm not checking that every letter comes from the anagram because I'm confident that this is right and I'd like to finish in 30 minutes if I can. And I'm putting chop chop in because surely it's right. It definitely fits the letter pattern. It means get a move on. Pair of boots, does chop mean boot? Well, to give somebody the boot is to sack them. So arguably to chop is to boot. And maybe a chop is a type of kick. Anyway, oh wow, still got four down to go. Friend, a nuisance, ultimately abandoning capital. Friend, bud, meaning buddy or friend. A nuisance, ultimately. I'm just wondering if nuisance, ultimately, is the letter E. And it's a reference to Bude, as in the capital of Cornwall, which it isn't. That's Truro. So that, that's not right. But if the bud does fit the definition, C red is blow a fuse. 27 minutes down. Shirt, not a T. Shirt with a female wearing it. Oh, shirt is blouse. With is W, A is A, female is F. So W A F in blouse gives blow a fuse, which means C red. Just coming back to 25 down, it's definitely a vowel in the middle. Bad, bed, bid, bod, bud. It has to be bud. A nuisance. Oh, yes, a pest. Abandoning Budapest gives you bud. Phew. Wow. Okay. Quick, immediate. Means of communication media. In time abroad, abroad is an anagram indicator for time. So media inside an anagram of time gives immediate, which means quick. So 28 minutes down, one clue left. Every letter in it is correct. Sailors. Sub. Wow, submariners fits apart from the last letter. Oh, and the third letter. That's a false alarm. Sailors in similar European race. Sailors. Nowhere for RN. In similar European race. Okay, I think it's a race of people. What is it? I've looked at the first letter, drawn a blank. What about this letter? I'm just going to mentally run through it. I'm not going to beat the 30 minutes. No, wow. 
Well, I must know this word, surely. But what are sailors? Tars, Jacks, ABs, RN? Race. What if it what if it begins S Y M Just looking at just looking at the crossing letters, they are all correct. So if it is a race of people, it could end E S E, and that S would fit in with sailors being plural in the middle. So, what if sailors are marines? So, marines in similar European. SIM could be an abbreviation for similar. So, marines in sim and then European is E, and the whole thing means race of people, the Simarinese people, who I have absolutely never heard of in my life. If this is correct, it's advancing my general knowledge, but is it? I am i don't think I can take this any further. Uh, 32 minutes down, so I'm going to throw in the towel at this point. Every clue apart from Simarinese has been solved and explained. There are no empty squares. So submit, submit, hope and pray. One error. Okay. Ah, interesting. I think this purple square indicates where the error is. Well, I wonder if it's if it's same meaning similar and Samaranese means a European race rather than just just race. Anyway, okay, well, an absolutely brutal, brutal puzzle. And um well, what can I say? It was incredibly hard all the way through. There was never any easy patches in it. It took me forever to get, I think, the first clue in and it simply never got any easier, but an amazing puzzle. I love doing the, the hard ones, and this certainly fitted into that category. So do let me know below what four down is. I have no idea what it is. My guess, best guess is that it's Samarinese, but even with that, I've never heard of it. So from a snitch perspective, I would say this is north of 100, but goodness knows how far north. And that's really all there is to say. So I hope you enjoyed watching that solve. Like and subscribe and I will see you next time.